Good morning, afternoon, evening, and this is Cathars and Comedy, how to get through nursing school with a smile on your face. I'm Allie or Allison Moore. I'm a four semester nursing student at Auburn University, and I'm from Columbia, Missouri. Hi, my name is Marin Stiles. I'm also a fourth semester student at the College of Nursing here, and I am from Auburn, Alabama. Hi, my name is Jane Newberry, and I am also a fourth semester student here at the College of Nursing, and I am from Madison, Alabama. And we also collaborated with our professor, Dr. Ann Lambert, on this project and presentation, so shout out to her. Um, and before we get started, we just want to give a little introduction about what this is. Um, so we started nursing school completely in person our second semester, which was last spring of 2021. Um, and so we were starting to spend a lot of time in the building at that point. And the more time we spent here and together, we kind of decided, you know, why not cause a little bit of a ruckus around the building? Um, so we decided to have a little fun and that kind of started off with some practical jokes, led into some TikToks, um, just several different fun activities that have created a lot of laughs. Um, and great bonding experiences for several people in the nursing building. Um, so we just wanted to share um, what we've done in our nursing program and the benefits of that and how those can be um, replicated in other professional nursing programs around the country. So before we get into kind of the thick of everything, we just wanted to address that we don't have any conflict of interest with this presentation. So a little bit more about the Auburn College of Nursing. Um, we are a five semester BSN program and we were established in 1979. So when throughout this presentation, you may hear us say, oh, we're in fourth semester or when we were in second semester, that's just referring to where we are in the BSN program. Now the College of Nursing also has some graduate programs as well for your master's PMP, your nurse educator, and then there's also an RN to BSN pathway. We have clinical sites in the greater Auburn area and in Opelika, in Montgomery, in Columbus, Georgia, and in Birmingham. And then pictured on the right is our beautiful building. It was built in 2017. And we are so lucky to have so many up-to-date um, and interesting resources for our simulation labs and our skills labs, as well as we also have a couple study rooms. So then we are all made up, we call each other cohorts um, in each semester. And so in our cohort, there's 106 of us, which is around average for um, throughout all the semesters. And at any given time, there's around 500 or so people in the BSN program at one time. All right, some very esteemed nurses to introduce you to as well here at the College of Nursing. We have some therapy dogs, um, and so they serve the very important purpose of decreasing the stress of the students here. So students are able to go and visit them whenever they're feeling overwhelmed or like they need some dog kisses, or if they would like to come and visit us before an exam, sometimes the dogs come and take a world tour and visit us there. So we do have several dogs in the building. We have Daisy who's featured in this little Valentine picture up there. And then we have Maggie and Tucker who are these two pretty dogs in front of the Christmas tree down here. Um, and then we also have a new puppy that's in training named Dolly. I don't know if you can see her behind our videos over here, um, but she's the newest caring paw to our building. And so everyone's always very excited to see her around. Um, so even if some of the dogs aren't here one particular day, there's almost always at least one of them here. So you can always go get in a little puppy time, which is great. And what's also really exciting is because as Marin said, they're so esteemed, they even have their own office in the faculty suite. And there's a couple chairs in there. There's also lint rollers in case, you know, you get some dog hair on you, but you can go in there at any given time. Like Ali said, there's probably a dog in there and you can just sit in there, let them love up on you and get in lots of pets. Cause I know a lot of people miss their dogs or their pets while they're away at college. So this is really nice and relaxing to have all the fun stuff, but you don't really have to, you know, take care of them all the time. So it's really exciting. You can go on walks with them throughout the day. You can just take them out and go for a walk around the building or outside our building. And then every time somebody or the, like the students see the dogs, they always run up to each other. So you can always get to know your other fellow students in the building while you have the dogs with you. 
yeah, like Jane was saying, and as you can see from this bottom right picture over here, um, anytime you see a dog running up and down the hallway in the nursing building, students just flock to them. So it's a great way to get to know other students in your cohort, as well as in other cohorts and semesters of nursing. Um, so it's a good community builder. Um, and they also go take visits around all of Auburn's campus outside of the College of Nursing. So you might find them at the engineering school one day, or you might find them visiting a residence hall on campus. So it's a great way to build community within the nursing program, as well as outside of it around Auburn's campus in general. Okay, so we're about to share some of the fun activities that we've done to create laughter and some stress relief around our nursing program. Um, but before we do that, we just wanted to share what we hope our audience can take away from this presentation. And the first of that would be that we hope you learn how to reduce stress and anxiety associated with nursing education and occupation from this. Um, so whether it be in a professional nursing program like the one offered to us at Auburn um, or into the professional nursing field, once you've graduated and are working as an RN, um, we think the skills and or learning humor as a coping skill is really important and can benefit you throughout your nursing career as a student and as a working nurse. And then we also hope that some of these activities we're about to share and the skill of humor um, that you can learn from it will help create a community of support, stronger social bonds, and enhance respect and trust, whether that be between nursing students, between students and faculty, or between nursing colleagues. So catheters and comedy, not only from our own experiences and what we've done here at the building, also really stems from what the literature has shown us. Um, so a lot of the research that we have seen is that humor can really decrease stress levels in people as well. It really allows for us to come together and be one united front or define some things that we have in common, goals that we wanna achieve, or even just a better way for us to establish trust with one another. And also to really kind of helps with retaining nursing students and programs that established humor um, and found a way to kind of incorporate that into their programs. And it also is something that we can use in our future practice, just like Ali mentioned, uh, but using it as a coping mechanism, as well as being able to better relate and establish trust with our patients. Okay, so one of the first ways that we have created some laughs around the building and really gotten to know different students and faculty in our program are through making TikToks together. Um, and as kind of silly as that sounds, it's been a great way to get to know other students. Um, and it's made the faculty a lot more approachable to a lot of students in our program as we've gotten more and more faculty to participate. Um, so this kind of started as our in our second semester, as we said, that was our first fully in-person semester of nursing school. Um, and this first one I'll show you, making my clinical group sing opera, was one I made with my second semester clinical group. And you know, none of us really knew each other because we had been on Zoom the previous semester. Um, so this was a great way for us to kind of step out of our comfort zone and be a little goofy and just get to know each other as individuals rather than a nursing student that we just saw in the hospital every week um, for clinical. So got bored or needed a study break one afternoon or something like that and texted all of them. And um, they sent me these fun little videos of them trying to replicate this opera singing. So without further ado, um, enjoy our beautiful opera singing. So as you can see, especially from that last one, um, not everyone was super excited to participate in that, but it definitely was a great way for us to get to know each other outside of nursing um, and just, you know, kind of break down our 
walls, I guess. So after that, we did a lot of carpool karaoke on the way to clinical. Um, so singing's kind of become our thing, I guess, but maybe um, we'll stick to nursing. Um, but that one kind of segued into making them with faculty. Um, this next one I'll show is one that Jane and I made with Dr. Lambert in our pediatric elective last fall. Um, and, you know, inspiration, inspiration just struck one day and um, we used our persuasion skills that we've learned to talk her into doing this with us. Um, and it made a lot of students really excited whether they'd had her as a teacher or not yet. Um, there were lots of comments that were like, oh, Queen Lambert, Dr. Lambert, everyone just loved it. Um, loved getting to see her participate in something outside of the classroom that was just kind of fun. And from there, we kind of got more and more faculty involved. Um, people really liked how that one went. So then we started recruiting more people to participate. Um, and it really made the faculty seem a lot more approachable to a lot of nursing students throughout the building because um, they were just able to see, oh my gosh, they want to have fun and do funny things just as much as we do as students. Um, so it kind of broke down some of the walls between faculty and students, I think, and made everyone realize, oh, they're just another person and um, made a lot more familiar faces throughout the building. So here's this one where we recruited Dr. Yordi to do that with us. And she's one of the professors in the building that teaches med surge. <laughs> tell y'all how many times we had to film that to get that final aim product but um you know our whole thing surrounding that one was nursing school's bananas so why not take a break and um make some fun tiktoks <laughs> um and then this last one is just faculty but we got a bunch of our professors throughout the building to participate in this one um so it's kind of like a little dance contest um, and it ended up being really funny because in the comments on this TikTok, people were like voting on who they thought did it best. Um, so it was a nice little hype up for a lot of our teachers. Um, and it was kind of the talk in the nursing building for a while because, you know, who doesn't want to see their teacher dance? It was just a great way for everyone to take a little break from the rigor of our nursing program and just like laugh and have fun for a little bit. Why you tripping? I ain't even Googling. I'm a jerk. You ain't never lie, but hey, do me a favor. Call me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. 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 So if y'all have thoughts on who you think the winner of our little dance competition is, um, contact Auburn College of Nursing and let us know because I think we still have votes coming in every day. Um, whether we meant for it to be a real competition or not, it's kind of ended up that and it's been really funny to watch um, people's comments roll in. But so these have been a lot of fun for students as well as faculty. Um, and one of our advisors at the College of Nursing said that they not only made her laugh, but she also shared them with pre-nursing students. She teaches um, a success strategy class to pre-nursing students, which are, which are freshmen and sophomores at Auburn before they're in the upper division. Um, and she said that that just kind of showed them that while nursing students are concerned about their grades and learning skills and all the things that will make them a good nurse once they graduate, it shows that we're stable, still able to find time to have fun and get to know each other and just build community. All right, so through our next task of spreading joy and cheer, um, during our finals week, which typically ends before the holiday season starts, so everyone is normally very stressed, we don't get to really spend a lot of time focusing on the joy, um, we decided to go around and go Christmas caroling, and so we would go up to people and sing their favorite holiday song. Um, and so a lot of people that we had um, fill out a survey, getting their feedback on this, said that it made them feel special and appreciated. Again, because this is a very 
very stressful time for us. So to be able to just have some laughs and sing some, I guess, hallway karaoke rather than carpool karaoke, um, it was a lot of fun to be able to participate in this. So we have a little video to show of us caroling and serenading. Yeah, so I know what you're thinking. Wow, you know, these nursing students are so talented. They're nursing students and can sing. Wrong. Just wait a second. <laughs> If I wish I'm true, all I want for Christmas is you. Okay, so here at the College of Nursing, um, we have a student wellness committee that was started um, in the fall of 2020. So it was right around when COVID was, had just started happening and it was really impacting the people that had just started nursing school in the summer and that fall because we were not um, fully in person at all. And so it was started by one of our professors here, um, Ms. Henderson, and she helps teach patho and she also taught us um, pharmacology as well. So it is student led and I am currently the president and when it was started, like I just said, like the new cohorts didn't really have an opportunity to interact with one another. And they didn't have an opportunity to really get to know their classmates because we weren't having in-person clinicals and we were not having in-person lab days or simulation. So a lot of people didn't really have any idea who anyone was aside from like that little picture that they saw on the Zoom screen. So one of the goals was when we created this was to have the students um, help make themselves a support system going into nursing school with other students in nursing, as well as the faculty. Um, we thought it was really important to get to know the faculty who were teaching your classes because with Zoom, you just didn't have a lot of face-to-face -face time with them. So the committee is made up of a bunch of different people in um, throughout the five semesters in nursing school. Um, for the BSN program. And so that helps better coordinate everybody's schedules because then at least somebody knows when they have like a major test coming up or most people would be at clinical or just things like that. And so the students, we try to plan stuff that we think that faculty and students will enjoy and we think that people would participate in. But there are nine dimensions of wellness and the most important dimensions that we thought were most important to focus on were, would be the emotional, physical, and social aspects, especially just when you're in college um, in nursing school, because it can be a stressful time. And a lot of times you think that you're constantly bogged down with studying and you don't have a lot of time to interact with those around you. So the pictures on the screen, we have planned a couple of events here. The center one, we planned kickball, and that was at the intramural fields here at Auburn. And we had each um, cohort was in a different color. And so we had every cohort played each other in a little bit of a tournament. And that was a lot of fun because it was just nice to get outside. It was a really nice day. Not a lot of people had seen each other play sports. So that was really fun to see. And um, we had some faculty bring their ch children, which was really cool to see just like outside of class, get to know them a little bit better. So then on the bottom left, that's also, um, that's our cohort. We actually won the kickball tournament. So that was really exciting for us. That was a really proud time. Um, on the upper left, we had the Bake Off. That's actually our second annual Bake Off. And then on the upper right is the first annual Bake Off. So we're hoping it'll become a tradition. It's only been two years right now. But we had everybody, if you wanted, you could sign up to bake an item and then you could bring a friend, you could bring somebody um, who was in nursing, somebody who wasn't in nursing, and then the faculty could also come and bake something and then everybody would vote anonymously on who would win. And um, whoever won, you got a golden spatula. So we had a faculty winner and we had a student winner. And last year, Dr. Lambert was our faculty winner. And then this year I was the student winner. But so that was really fun. And then on the bottom left, uh, bottom right, we have um, when COVID was still impacting us when we were all online for Zoom, we had wellness days here instead of a spring and a fall break to try and stop the spread of COVID when that would happen during break. So during our wellness days, we would plan little events. So we had like a little workout 
thing that would range from you could go on a walk with other um, people that showed up or you could do yoga or you could do like high intensity interval training as well on the green space outside and then you can see some of the dogs and then some other students brought their dogs as well. So that was really fun to just get out get in some fresh air. We were socially distanced and it was just a great way to get to know other people in different cohorts if you hadn't had the opportunity yet if you've met people in your own co cohort. And then something not pictured is we also had pumpkin painting and we had a bunch of little mini pumpkins and we invited nursing students, nursing faculty and their families. And we had a good mixture of both and everybody just got to sit down, they got to paint a pumpkin. And we also invited those who were in, who were still taking prerequisites for the nursing um, program. And then you would just all get to get to know each other. So it was really a good opportunity to get to know everybody in the nursing program, as well as faculty and start forming those bonds outside of class and help it make it a little bit easier when you're thinking about maybe going to office hours or just easier to see them and say hi in the hallway. So again, um, celebrating the small things, um, we came up with the idea of selling Valentine's candy grams. Um, so this is for a different purpose. This was originally for our organization called the Initiative for Representation in Nursing, which is just to try and further diversify the field of nursing. Um, I serve as the president and these lovely ladies next to me serve as my vice presidents. Um, and so the goal of this was to spread cheer as well as raise money for the Boys and Girls Club here in Auburn. Um, but something that really, something that was really amazing and great that came out of it it was kind of the overall joy and positivity we were able to spread. Um, with the faculty, we were able to, again, work up our singing skills and serenade them um, and give them flowers and candy. Um, but with the students too, it was really just a lot of fun to be able to play Cupid for the week. Um, friend Cupid, love Cupid. I don't know, we'll never know the truth to that. Um, but to be able to write cute notes on the back of the cards, um, we made these fun healthcare related puns, as you can see. Um, some didn't make the cut here, but these are some of the faves. Um, and it was just a lot of fun to be able to see everyone else buy things for other people and kind of see just how much support they get. I think, again, we've mentioned before how easy it is in nursing school to just get bogged down by test after test or clinical after clinical. I'm not really celebrating the fact of all the great friendships that we've made. I know that before nursing school, I was not as close to friends with the people in this room. I, I honestly, in fact, not really had the chance to meet them yet. Um, and so I think it's a great time to really celebrate the connections that we make here. And so um, Dr. Chidame was one of the lab faculty. And so to be able to surprise her with the candy gram, it's a lot of fun. And again, it makes work fun. It makes learning fun and it just helps further learning. All right, so one more thing that we have done throughout our time in the nursing program that um, maybe brought a little bit of panic for some students at first, but then ended up in a lot of laughs for everybody involved was our patient safety sim. Um, this is not a real sim. Marin actually made this up one day when we were, um, we were at the building in our scrubs on one of our wellness days to take pictures for another organization on campus. Um, and she had been talking about how whenever you see another nursing student in scrubs um, and you're not wearing scrubs, you always have a moment of panic where you're like, where am I supposed to be right now? Am I missing a clinical? Am I missing a sim? Um, just because there are so many nursing students that have different schedules, it can be easy to think, what am I forgetting? Um, so we thought we would make a little fun out of that. And we decided to prank call fellow nursing students in our scrubs and convince them that they were missing a patient safety sim at the nursing building, um, which is not a real thing, but you know, you always think you're missing something. <laughs> so, um, and this ended up being really funny because students that we didn't call or didn't have um, contact information for approached us the next week after we sent videos out and we're like, oh my gosh, you should have called me. That's hilarious. Like I wanna participate. Um, so we gave a little bit of a scare at first, but it ended up being something that everyone wanted to be involved in. So we have a little video compilation of that um, that we'll show you. And we actually got some faculty involved at the end too. So stay tuned for that. because I think that's the best part in my opinion. Hey, hey, where are you? Home. Okay, do you know that there's like a sim in 15 minutes? Shut up. No, the patient safety one. You're. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I literally think I can cry. Hello. Where are you? I'm driving to my 
Montgomery. Dude, we have a sim in 15 minutes. We have what? <laughs> the patient safety sim. How far away are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, are you joking? Yes. <laughs> you coming to the sim? The sim? Yeah, the patient safety sim at one. What? Where are you? What are you talking about? Are you kidding me? Wait, what sim? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Hey, where are you? Are you coming to the sim? What the heck are you talking about? The patient safety sim. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, it's at one. Where are you? You better be joking right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? The patient safety sim. What? Yeah, it's in like 20 minutes. Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm kidding. safety sim. I told him you were in the bathroom. Are you kidding? Yes. Someone told me I was supposed yeah, to meet you here, here for a patient safety sim. outside. Patient safety sim? For what? I honestly don't know. Let me look through my emails. But I sent you an Alex. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So that was the patient safety sim. Um, I think that's still one of my favorite shenanigans we've ever done around the building. Um, and we've yet to come up with another prank that people will one, trust us on and two, um, that'll live up to that bar. <laughs> so um, definitely something to try out in other nursing programs since we may or may not be able to fly with that again here. <laughs> So these are some quotes from students and faculty that were positively impacted by, you know, the shenanigans and the ruckus that we've caused. Um, all in good fun, of course. Um, but some of the uh, quotes that we thought were really important were that it um, helps bring camaraderie, ooh, sorry about that, and uh, make school more fun and less competitive, which in nursing school can be really difficult because I know a lot of people get bogged on, uh, down about test grades and um, oh, did this person do, do how, how good I did on this test? And it's just can be really competitive. So adding a little bit of humor and then just bringing um, everybody back and remembering why we're, why we're here and the passion that we have for nursing. And then it, they also make a lasting positive impact on all stakeholders of the College of Nursing. And obviously we love nursing school and everything that it brings to us. And it makes us really happy that other people will be able to look back on this experience with the same sense of pride and joy that we feel as well. So some examples that we wanted to share with you guys that you could apply to your programs, you know, celebrating students' accomplishments, whether that's them being able to do a full assessment for the first time or getting their first good stick, um, forming a morale chair, so someone who can send funny videos or an email or just general jokes before class, um, faculty and student lunches, so maybe having a smaller opportunity for students to have a better time to get to know their faculty, um, or also, you know, having a fun time of learning through things. I know we are learning lots about different medical diagnoses and a different way to provide care. So maybe having some skits and showing our acting skills can help make that more fun. Also like themed class days, you know, like dress up like a celebrity, ugly sweaters for the holiday season, Halloween costumes, maybe dress up like your favorite professor in the nursing school, as well as um, stress relief parties, maybe get the dogs to come and join us. Um, just get students together and away from 
um, studying and just getting a good break in so that when you go back to studying, you can really give it your all. And then something else that we three especially do is like an ultimate debrief. Um, HIPAA safe, of course, but after every clinical, we know that we have a debrief and um, we just all get together and talk about everything that's really fun that happened to us at clinical that day. Um, acknowledging HIPAA, of course. Though. Okay, well, that about wraps up our presentation. Real quickly, we just wanted to cover some of the things we hope you take away from this. Um, and that's that we hope you learn that humor as a coping skill will leave individuals less stressed and more optimistic. And then using humor as an interpersonal skill as well will help create stronger relationships and a more supportive professional community, whether that's in the nursing workforce or in a nursing program like the one offered here at Auburn. And then incorporating fun, humorous activities into professional nursing programs may result in increased job satisfaction, reduced stress, and improved relationships, again, in nursing school as well as in the nursing workforce. And we just always kind of joke that, you know, laughter may not always be the best medicine for real, but it sure doesn't hurt. And it's going to make the workplace or the school place a lot more fun um, and joyful all around. And this is just a quote that we think really captures what we try to do with our fun little shenanigans throughout the building. And then it's that you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, and you know, we all know that nursing school and working as a nurse um, is really challenging. Um, you have to work really hard at all times, um, but just making sure that you're finding small little moments here and there to laugh and hang out with your friends in nursing, um, and just make the most of things and enjoying every little moment is very important and will make it all seem less hard. And that's it. We just wanted to thank you all for listening and we hope you learned something and um, remember to laugh.